here don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below it means so much to me when you guys subscribe to my channel if you're not new hey girl welcome back today you guys i wanted to share this mole recipe with you guys because this is going to be like my fourth time making it and i just feel like i got it down to that where it tastes good where it tastes like homemade like you've been there whipping it up all day but you really haven't because to be honest with you girl I don't know how to make mole from scratch like I remember watching my mom and my grandma making it and like they were adding hella ingredients that I don't got the time for that to save the day today is this Doña Maria mole sauce now I get it in this container because it's just so much easier to pour out than the old school one that comes in the little glass cup or the plastic cup where it's like a thick paste like you really gotta work it in there and seriously there's been times where like I'm already super clumsy as it is where I've literally hurt myself or I've broken the mole cup so when I saw this I have fallen in love with it it just literally squirts out the 19 ounce one so basically you could just use it directly from the packet but how do I make this taste even better you guys I'm going to be adding some chiles now we're gonna be adding some chiles you guys remember you guys i told you on tuesday's vlog that i was out i already got my groceries in yesterday and i made sure to add some of these which is a chile de arbol this is just gonna make your mole more spicy i'm gonna be adding a few of these chiles but the other chile that i personally really love to add to this mole is the chile guajillo which is a little bit bigger and it smells so good I don't know they just smell so good and it's gonna make your mole sauce taste so good the last chile that you are going to need I haven't opened it yet is chile ancho now this chile is really really dark and it has a very nice smoky flavor but it also is just gonna give it another you know boost of something and then we're also gonna need first the basics you guys tomato onion garlic so for me, using piernitas de pollo, chicken legs, and some chicken thighs. So that's what we're going to be using. I'm going to season them up really quickly. The thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is just season our chicken. That way you can start marinating with that seasoning and the salt actually penetrates into the chicken, giving it flavor. Not just We don't just want to depend on the mole sauce because the, the thing I hate most is like when you have a really nice sauce on the outside of a chicken and then you bite into it and like there's no flavor you know so we're not doing that let's season our chicken up i'm gonna start with a little bit of olive oil all over the chicken so we need about one teaspoon stove right now because we just had breakfast and stuff so I'm like let me go ahead and just clean it with you guys and then I wanted to deep clean all my wooden spoons and stuff and then condition them with oil because I saw Miss Liz Hart um, here on YouTube I love her and her videos by the way and I saw one of her videos and she was saying that uh, like she conditions them with like wood oil once a week and i'm like oh my god i like do that once a month <laughs> so i was like i think it would be perfect to just have all my stuff
stuff clean and conditioned um that way i can start cooking with you guys we're gonna be making mole today it's gonna be super easy dishes you're just gonna like take it up a notch and kai is right here behind me say hi kai kai say hi guys let's clean our wooden spoons and also our cutting boards clean up all this junk from breakfast you know what i'm saying i should turn on some lights so it's not so dark in here it's like a very ugly cloudy day you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be using the method cleaner because this thing is freaking bomb it's amazing i love it it's a heavy duty degreaser He has like an emotional attachment to that thing. Alright you guys, so I'm going to leave the pot of water going here. And that's going to be for our sauce that we're going to be making with the Roma tomatoes and the chiles. All the dried chiles. So I was telling y'all that Liz Hart here on YouTube, whom I love, she was saying that she conditions all her like wood stuff once a week. And I'm like, oh my God, I would do it like once a month when I would remember, honestly. And she does all her spoons and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do mine because I feel like uh, I should do it. I bought this a while back. I think I got it at Burlington. It was... Yeah, and they had this uh, cleaning, so, well, it's not a cleaning condition. It says it's a conditioner and protectant. And it's just mineral oil. It has no smell or anything. too spicy then maybe just add like one chile de arbol that should be more than enough but i know kai is not gonna eat this so i don't mind the spice you know 
I want mine to be spicy. So now that it's open, I'm gonna throw it in here. And this, like I promise, it's gonna taste so good. Like if you spent hours making it. Add in some caldo de pollo in here. This is half a tablespoon. I'm gonna add it in there just so it can blend better so it doesn't like get stuck or anything. The ingredient is peanut butter. So my mom used to do like one tablespoon so this should be more than enough like that way it's not too much so you guys i just blended the salsa and let me tell you it seriously tastes so freaking good um with the three chilies add well the spice is like right there two would have just been Perfect if you want like a really light spice and basically the chicken has now been steaming and it's all juice I've had it on low medium for like the last 20 30 minutes Let me show you how it's looking And over here as you can see you guys we got some rice going And then here is our chicken delicious already looking really good I'm going to pour our mole sauce all over. Funny because growing up sometimes like I didn't really care about mole like that that much. But then, and you see the color is only going to deepen as well. I forgot to mention that. The longer it cooks and like it simmers on low, it's gonna like deepen in color because right now it's like kind of like a bright red. Guys, it's perfect. I'm gonna cover this and let it cook now. It's two o'clock. Why is this open? Y'all couldn't see it. Oh yeah, I could see it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on this. And we are gonna keep this on a low medium simmer for another like 20 to 30 minutes and then it should be ready and i'm gonna plate it with rice and i'll give y'all guys a little taste test of our dinner but see how quick and easy that was with already having the mole sauce ready we just had to basically cook and fry up our chicken and then make a little extra sauce for our sauce on the side you know it's like kind of think of it kind of like a canned pasta sauce or like a canned alfredo sauce yeah you can use it like right out of the can but if you add a little extra something something here and there it's gonna just make it taste so much better yes it's not made from scratch by any means but adding those special fresh ingredients really turns this recipe into something even better you know what i'm saying i hope you guys are enjoying my video if you are don't forget to give me a thumbs up guys okay, so here is my mole oh my gosh it looks so good so freaking fire it's literally just falling apart <laughs> that's what we want to see anyways <clears throat> So good. Mm. You need to make this mole. Seriously, it's gonna blow your mind how delicious it is. Mm. The last step, I completely forgot. The camera was dying and I had to hook it up and I forgot that this camera, when it's like about to die and it's blinking, it doesn't catch that last part. So we also need to add chocolate to the sauce before adding it in the blender. Or you can just put it, you know, right before you pour it in. You can do any type of chocolate, chocolate, you know, chocolate powder, cacao powder. You can do like a little bit of piece of chocolate, 
You can do um, chocolate syrup too. That also works. I've done that before. Today I just did a little bit of Hershey's. I just threw some in there. I had. Okay, I'm gonna give it a darker color as well. It's gonna deepen the color a lot more as well. So don't forget to add the chocolate. I'm so sorry that I forgot to add that part in there. But yes, and we'll also have the recipe down below. That way you can also check it out, you guys, like step by step. I will have everything linked down below. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching my videos. It means so much to me, you guys. My channel is growing. We're so close to 10K. So tell your friends about me. Share my video. It means so much to me, you guys. Um, what else? I, I will see you guys next time. Bye.